So today we're making meringue cookies, one of Tony's favorite treats. And we start by breaking two eggs. We only want the whites. Probably the only part of the whole process that Tony doesn't do. Because it's really hard not to get the yolk in there. So you just keep going back and forth and get all the whites out that you can. And once you have, you kind of get rid of the yolk. That's one. And do another one. And again, just being really careful to get only the whites. You can see it's really hard. And I think that should do it. These are the ingredients. I forgot about the salt. Can take a screenshot of that. So it's an eighth teaspoon of salt. And an eighth teaspoon cream of tartar. It's this white powdery stuff. And so we just keep making these cookies because really it's the only thing you can do with it. Then we use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yeah, and from experience, I know that stuff alone tastes awful. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And three quarters cup white sugar. Do you want to do this part or you want me to do it? Uh, tilt it over. Yeah. And the next stage, which is Tony's part, is whipping. Mixing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the chocolate chips and we're going to slowly fold them in because you don't want to mess up the meringue. Which is supposed to be firm. And then we'll be ready to put them on our pan and get started cooking. So now we put the oven on 300 degrees. We'll have to wait for it to heat up. And in the meantime, we're going to take our meringue cookies and we're going to put them on our cookie tray. So, let me just drop them gently. We've used some wax paper, which you don't have to oil. The wax paper keeps them from sticking. <laughs> So we are good to go. So now all we're going to do, wait for the oven to heat up, then we're going to put them in. Okay, so the oven has hit 300 degrees. We're going to put the cookies in the oven. We're going to put them in for 25 minutes and then we'll check back when they're done. Right, so now what we do is we check to see if they're done. So if you want to take a close up look. Do they look done to you or do you think they need more time? Mm -hmm. They look done. They look done to me too. So now we take them out of the oven and we let them sit to cool off a little bit before we eat them. Okay, so now we've finished cooking and now is the best part of making anything, which is the eating part. Go for it. Mine's These are kind of messy. Yeah, mine sort of got a little bit crumpled because someone took it off wrong. And yet, they're really good. Meringue cookies. Please like this video, subscribe for more. Twitter and Instagram links down in the description. And peace out, briskies. <laughs>